Hey, Fred, how about showing us the new WLIO transmitter? Sure. In 2001, we began digital transmissions in Lima. In 2006, we took delivery of this 5,000-watt Axera transmitter. It's on VHF channel 8. Transmission line was installed. This is a 3-inch Heliax line that's going up the side of the tower. The antennas that we uh, chose for the uh, transmission system are manufactured by ERI and they're called La Crucis or the Crosses and you'll see why in just a few seconds. These antennas are basically turnstiles. There are eight antennas which are mounted in an array on the side of the tower. With approximately 3,900 watts feeding the antenna, we get uh, 27,500 watts ERP. And we found that uh, this pretty much doubles and nearly triples the coverage of the old UHF station. Here's some of the reinforcing that we did on the tower uh, when we put on new guy wires and also the antennas. Here's the mask filter for channel 8. The RF enters on the right side vertical pipe and exits on the left side through the antenna switch up through a uh, line section with some tuners on it through the gas barrier and then into the transmission line and up the tower. Now these tuners were added just to improve uh, the signal just a tad bit. The tuners are made by a slug which penetrates inside the line and we actually made these on site by boring a hole in the transmission line at a calculated point, soldering on the brass fitting. And then once we have the uh, fitting on and it's installed in the transmission line, all we can do is we can tune out some of the imperfections in the Heliax line and some of the uh, joints up on the antenna itself. Notice we can get this right spot on the money. Here's WLIO's Channel 8 transmitter manufactured by Axera. It runs at 4200 watts. It's capable of 5 kilowatts. And it has a touch screen on the front door for the operators to uh, see all the readings. Underneath the front door is the Axciters. They call them Axciters because it's made by Axera and it's an exciter. There are two Axciters and two controllers in this transmitter for redundancy. We also have eight power amplifiers, so we can lose up to two amplifiers before we really get into trouble. If that does happen, we have our old digital transmitter, a Larkan 250 watt transmitter, and its mask filter that we can jump over to. But that hasn't happened as of yet. We have two methods for transmission. One is over the air, and the other is through fiber to the cable companies. The silver encoders are the over-the-air encoders, one for each station, plus a spare. And we also have encoders for the cable company. The difference being is over-the-air is statistical multiplexed, while the uh, cable is fixed rate at uh, 19 megabits per second. Here's one of the monitors for the uh, digital transmitter for channel 8, showing the different parameters that we're sending out at the present time. And we also have other monitors which we use for uh, quality assurance. Four monitors up on the wall show closed captioning which is going out at all times on all four stations. And additionally our remote control system monitors parameters and reports back if we have a parameter which is out of tolerance. That's the channel 35 antenna at the top.